think about the worst television show you've ever seen. I'll give you one second. Uh huh. You picture it in your mind. And I'm about to do you one better. That's right. I am the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You. And I am here to talk to you about some queens. That's right. Netflix. Killing it. Rocking it. <laughs> Dropping a documentary. Unbelievable. This thing. I tried to watch this for you guys. Just to give you an idea of what was going on. I couldn't make it past like 15 minutes. It just is just not not good the production quality is real bad the history is real sus the experts are real sus and it's just like boring so boring but it may have broken some records it could be worldwide record let's take a look everybody's banging on this thing here we have the insider and saying the lowest rotten tomatoes rating in tv history goes to Netflix's Queen Cleopatra. That's right. It's released on May 10th and it has a 2% score with more than 5,000 ratings. <laughs> it was getting quite a bit of criticism. Well, nothing gives you more criticism than making a crappy show that no one wants to watch. Apparently, it was at 1%, but it got bumped up to 2%. Congratulations. Queen Cleopatra follows Egypt's last pharaoh through reenactments and interviews. I mean, in the first scene, they're like, she was a scholar. She was a scientist. She was a genius. She was a fighter. She was the bestest ever. Uh, it's a movie, or it's a series so bad, you have the country of Egypt suing you because it's so bad. <laughs> They're saying it's a misrepresentation and a falsification of history. The Egyptian government <laughs> is suing them for it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, there's been a lot of people, yeah, backlash and, and all sorts of things. They're like, we don't really know who her mother was. Okay, it's fine. But you, you would think you wouldn't want to piss off an entire country. That just doesn't seem like... A winning strategy. Although I've heard some people say um, that the show is it. W what's really wrong with it, besides the the whole Egypt thing, is that it's uh, besides the fact it's per it, it's on its second season and no one's ever heard of it. So maybe they're they decided to do something drastic to get ratings to like get people agitated and get people irritated so they would hate watch it. Because there seems to be an awful lot of shows that people are trying to hate watch right now, right? So you would think this might fall into that category because this is supposedly the second season. It's a um, Jada Pinkett Smith production. So we all know how, how she stands there. It's the second season of African Queens. Right, so let's just take a look at this marvelous Netflix score that they have here, Queen Cleopatra. It says season one, but it's technically season two. Very confusing. Netflix, you're getting me in trouble with Demon Slayer because you you mislabeling seasons and people are getting upset about it. But we have it here. It's a ten percent critic score, two percent audience score. It went. <laughs> it was technically at um. 11% critic score with nine critics, but now there's a 10th critic who says it's rotten. I guess they're thinking it's okay to jump on the uh, <clears throat> on the train. Let's just check out some of these terrible, uh, terrible um, reviews. Let's see what people say. Uh, this person says, they managed to create something without any historical or entertainment value. Normally, Hollywood trades one for the other. If you're lucky to manage both, not this. They just gave up a trying all together. Train wreck. Gotcha. I'm down. Here's a, a half star, three quarter star, half star. I'm all for creative liberties with movies and TVs, but to act as if this is a factual 
documentary is arrogant and disrespectful in terms of a documentary. The amount of inaccuracies makes it impossible to take this seriously. It's absolutely fascinating that the creators thought the audience would be dumb enough to accept this dribble. <laughs> uh, yep, here's me. Sup M. It's not me, but it was a hard show to watch. I couldn't finish it. I couldn't even get into it. Oh my gosh, people actually wrote like real reviews here. Uh, this is bad. This is not a documentary. It is fiction, and even as fiction, it's still bad. The half stars for the fact it sometimes looks nice. Really, what were they thinking? Ugh, Netflix. I might cancel my subscription if you keep selling us whatever this is as a documentary. I mean, they don't know. They're just putting it out there. They don't even care. They're just like, here's some more schlock for you to catch. It's a disaster. Um, hardly entertaining. Don't waste your time. I would agree. Don't waste your time, folks. It's not worth. It's not worth your time. It's not even so bad that it's good. It's just bad, bad, and not that interesting. Granted, I I know there's other reviewers who have reviewed the entire thing. I I tried. I ten maybe fifteen minutes. I just I couldn't do it. Sorry, folks. But uh, do be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast. It is on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places for free to you, just as we'd always have it. Uh, we do lots of shorts and other things. If you like, help us by sharing, subscribing, thumbs up. We appreciate all those things and more. Hopefully, we get better reviews than this thing did. Just wanted to point it out to you that it's the worst thing on TV. Even AI couldn't make it better. This script should have been written by AI. Maybe it would be better. Anyway, that's enough for me. I appreciate you. Thanks for listening. But I'm on to the next one.